Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by in my small little corner in the YouTube world. I appreciate it. Um, if if y'all can tell, I can actually like, it, I enjoy this view a little bit more. Um, I am, I feel like I'm like not in the middle, but y'all, I always find something to complain about. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get into it. Today, we're going to be doing a Transfer Tuesday. The Transfer Tuesday is going to be for two Tuesdays. Last Tuesday, I did not post. There was a lot going on. I did make the payment, however. Um, I actually made it um, on Monday. E um, yeah, Monday evening, like around four o'clock. Like around four o'clock. Um, whenever I was at work in the office, I had a deposit and, um, I knew that if I was at work, I had that money and I was like, you know what, where, where can I put it? And I was like, you know what, just go straight to de towards debt because I'm going to have, an I had another deposit that was going to come through, um, Tuesday and another one that was going to come through on Thursday. So I wasn't really worried about like not having any funds. And since I'm working from home, we have food, we don't need gas. Like the only thing we need to be, be able to get the kids to and from whatever, but I didn't have to worry about it, so it's kind of like no bills were due, no nothing. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, me thinking that last week, um, I was like, there's no bills coming in or whatever, so I'm just going to make constant payments towards um, debt every time a, a deposit came in. I forgot that our car insurance was due. So the car insurance for me and my mom is um, like roughly 180, but I put 200 out and I just give her the cash because she pays with her debit card. So, um, Whenever I, whenever she hits me up and she was like, hey, don't forget that, you know, car insurance is due on, on Sunday. I was like, I freaked out. I was like, I was like, oh, I have the money. Like I couldn't, I, I knew that I had like this whole issue with my envelopes. And so I didn't have envelopes for like my bills and stuff. I did pre post like the money in like how I stuffed them whatever because I had income coming in two different times and both times the money was gonna I wanted to make sure that the bills were paid first right so I had the money but <laughs> because the coffee had dropped on it I threw the money inside something and I actually threw it in here and so you see the money in there and I actually didn't know where it was I I, I didn't know where it the flip it was and so i found it <clears throat> and i ended up doing uber eats um sunday because i was like i need to get this money i need to make sure that i have 200 dollars. and i knew i had some cash at the house or whatever that i could just like you know grab real quick but i hate reaching into my savings accounts or whatever so i did uber eats and i got the 200 dollars and i gave her the money and then um later on that night on sunday i found the money in the little zip pouch and i was like dude what really <laughs> i thought it was i was like i could have been at home i had so i had some orders and stuff that i wanted to get out over the weekend because i knew i didn't want to do much during the week whatever so i kind of wanted to like get everything done and i was out doing uber eats which you know it's okay whatever but i didn't have any notaries or anything like that so how to make ends meet anyway now the story time is over. Let's get into Trends for Tuesday. If y'all are new here, thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. On Tuesdays, I try to do every Tuesday. Um, I try to do Trends for Tuesday. I try to stay motivated to um, do cash stuffing. I am a, I do electronically um, save as well as make electronic payments as well, which is what y'all are going to see today. So on Tuesdays, I do um, prop money, but it's just to show y'all how much that I actually made. And at the end of the month, I try to count up how much is going actually towards debt, just so I can see where my money is going. Um, I am actually using the debt diary with money with Gab. This is my current debt, this right here, but I put the numbers of what I wanted to pay off in order so i do have little mermaid decor things that i thought were just so adorable sand of my favorite beach i do plan on putting sand in there one day and then this right here um i was gonna put coins in it mind you i got it from the dollar tree okay i was gonna put coins in it but whenever i dropped these two pennies in here the sound it made i was like okay you're right <laughs> I'm not going to be able to put coins in there because I thought that I broke it putting two pennies in there. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. 
and I was trying to like scoop it in and like roll it in there you know like trying to I was like you know what I'm not gonna do all that I'm just gonna stay at, at putting the coins inside my big old jar which I think is like halfway and nope not even halfway so it's it has a while to go um speaking of since I pulled it out there's some coins in here that I wanted to get out I'm gonna try to pull this money out we're not counting this money this money actually is gonna go to the bank so um, my daughter ended up doing my nails on Sunday and um, I'm, I'm not girly, y'all. I am like the last thing from girly. And um, she was like trying to get me to like, she, she did the shellac on my, on my nails. Because, you know, I buy her the stuff to do nails, whatever. She wants to be a, um, she has to do cosmetology during high school. So I got her like stuff that she could start practicing and stuff now. And um, <laughs> she did my nails and I'm like the, I can't. I, I mess them up like I find a way to mess them up it doesn't matter what happens I just find a way and anyway so she actually did them and I thought that they came out so cute the glitter whenever she did I was like oh that's enough glitter like the whole time I was like oh that's that's a lot that's that's enough you should you should stop while you're at it and so she, she was like mama and I was like okay but you know it came out such a cute little combo that she had did I've already like messed up like have little gaps already in my nose so leave it to me i will mess things up okay so anyway um as for the payments um i have made um a lot my monthly payment for the 502 and then um i've already made my 40 dollars, and then i've already made the 80 dollars for that or Oh yeah, I made $80, but because I sent it and it hasn't been cleared on their side, I'm going to leave it open um, just so I can make sure that it's like still on my mind and I'm like still paying attention to it. Alright, so this is for May. So for this, um, I did the $390 last Tuesday. Right. What did this say? I keep looking at it okay and then i did on pulling out my calendar because i don't want to be wrong on the 10th so i did on the 10th i paid the credit card i paid children's and finger hugs And I don't know why I need this because I paid the minimum amount and I just don't want to pull up my my transaction or my credit card transactions to see how much I paid. All right, so for the children's place, I did pay 35. Um, so children's place, 253, 33, 253. And I want to say that at the time I it was a little bit more because of the late fee that was applied on there because I don't know why um, I paid like the late fee for some the due date I keep telling them that the due date changed from when I have like my have my paper it has like the eighth or something like that and they like now have the due date at like the third or something like that so whenever I paid on. Um, last time on like last month on the 7th it was different and so now me paying on the 10th they told me my due date's the 12th so I paid early and I was like y'all just told me it was the third last month like why is it changing so then I thought it was like maybe every two weeks or something I don't I don't know I, I it's so confusing so I and I could be just like overlooking something I don't know but like I've never had a problem with due dates so for the children's um, I'm gonna do weekly payments on them because I did not realize that they were so everywhere is the word I'm gonna use they are 
everywhere with this due date. And I, I, I keep bringing it up. The statements are proof that my due date keeps changing. And they're just still like, oh, no, it's on this day. And I'm like, dude, this this one says this day. And this one says this one's like on paper. Like, it's right here. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Okay. And then um, I did the credit card, the 50. 502 and um finger hat was 40 I think yeah 40 and then the beginning finger hat was 661 38 so here we're gonna put twenty one zero two three seven three. This is actually this one is um, in the twenties, and I was like so excited that I finally got it under. I mean, of course, it was like at twenty three, but I looked at it. I was like, "Yo, that was me that did that." I don't know why, but whenever you see like the numbers drop, it makes you like. Well, I don't know if it makes you, but it makes me more motivated to like knock it out. And like, I see that my next payment, all I have to do is pay like maybe go back to the, um, like I was doing the vehicle, um, go back to 675 and see how much it would drop. Cause whenever I was doing um, 675, cause my car payment was like, I think it started off at like 26,000. And I stuck to, making nothing but car payments during my transfer Tuesday. I didn't have other debt. So it was like easier for me to like knock out that 675, no problem. I was playing games. I was like, you know, motivated. I was also doing a whole bunch of notaries and I was marketing because I wanted to make sure that I had nonstop money coming in to knock out this debt. And for some reason I am just like not as motivated. I don't, I don't know. Like I, see the payments come in I see the deposits and I'm like oh, okay I'll pay the debt but I'm like not trying to like make the make the maximum amount of deposit I'm just like I know I made that deposit or that deposit is going to come in on that day and I'll just use that one instead of trying to find another deposit or something I don't know so if you if you ask me never stop trying to make more money always try to figure out a way to make more money get ahead don't get behind but for some reason my just my motivation is just like I know money's coming in, so that's that's enough, and it shouldn't be enough. It should I should always be looking for more. All right, so six twenty one thirty eight. Okay, so I know I just paid those. Oh, Tom Green. And this was eighty. Eighty eight. Is a zero. Oh, I can't wait so I'm just like knocking it out. Okay, so we have that. Uh, that's what happened on the um, the tenth of May, and then um, today I paid only two things. Today is the seventeenth. I thought today was the nineteenth. What did y'all do on Black Friday? A oh, Black Friday, Friday the thirteenth. What did y'all do on Friday the thirteenth? let me know if anybody got any tattoos or any piercings or anything like that i know that you know all of us are actually getting older so we're not like going out and getting tattoos but i'm still working on my sleeve and i'm still working on my stomach tattoo i don't care how old i am i'm still getting tattoos i'm probably the day i die i probably won't get another tattoo okay i'm lying <laughs> but i'm serious y'all like i really wanted to get um another tattoo and i at last second i decided that i wasn't going to um get one i um my cousin was saying that she was going to come in town and i was like okay you know like let's let's go ahead and uh get you know because that's how one time we had got matching tattoos and then there was another time that she wanted to get um a piercing so i was like i'm down <laughs> you know so um so we, we we really didn't she ended up not coming in town she's in austin she, she ended up not coming in town we ended up not getting a tattoo um but she was like you know we need to pay attention to when the next is so that we can you know make it a thing so that every time the friday the 13th comes we're gonna get another tattoo so i was like all right let's let's 
let's keep our eyes open so um i think the next time that friday the 13th actually comes around is in january of 2023 so i don't know like i i, I don't know like i i I did pull up the calendar and I did check to see like if it was whatever for real, but it is in January and that's roughly around the time that my daughter turned 17. So I don't know if we're going to get tattoos or not. I know that whenever they turn 18, we have like this matching daughter mom tattoo set that we want to get, but neither here nor there. We shall see. So um, Children's Place, I did send 35 there. The remaining that I had was 288 and at the end of the month, hopefully without any interest or any late fees applied to the account because they are we'll see if we are on top of that and then um 288 33 minus 35 253 i think the next time i'm just gonna hit that 33 dollars i um i'm 33 cents i don't know exactly what i want to do for um for the credit card like i kind of want to pay it off and just like leave it but i because my son he 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 really likes the clothes that like adidas um like that breezy material you know because like if um, children's place is just kind of like cotton cloth and I, I can't think of the material that um, adidas or nikes has but they have like this like silk type polyester types breathable um like workout clothes for like the kid and he he sweats a lot he's very active you know he's a boy so he's like non-stop going whatever so i've been actually looking for those clothes and you can get those like at ross or marshall's or whatever like that and it's not like it's like breaking the pocket so it's same price as basically as um children's place so i don't know if i'm just going to pay it off or if i'm just going to keep it because i do have a um a bonus baby that i that she's two now and um I like to go take her and spoil her to go get some clothes and stuff whatever because you know she just has like a rough background so i try to make sure that she grows up knowing love and knowing that there's always going to be something out there for her so even though she's two um she's been through a lot so you could tell that you know whenever she get she gets something she values it she doesn't want to like get rid of it so i actually like that so i try to make sure that she has that love so on my credit card i didn't want to spend i didn't want to pay another 500 because i just paid the 500 even though i should i didn't i paid um 360 on it and um whenever i was like uh whenever i sent the 360 i was like oh i should have just went ahead and paid the 502 again <laughs> but um of course, you know, sometimes I just wanted like the spending money because I was in the office. Like my thing is, is me being in the office, guys, I'm telling you right now, like I'm spending more money in the office than I would if I was like at home. And y'all, <laughs> y'all, I need to, I, I, we're going out to eat, like not having kids, <sighs> just the y'all let's just let's just let's just take a moment if you a mother if you a parent if you around your niece and nephews and you know being able to hang out with other people that got their own money and then all you got to do is worry about you yourself you 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 bro all you gotta worry about is you you can go out and chill not have to be like y'all be quiet can you get off your phone can you stop arguing? Why are you why are you saying that? Like why do you have to talk like that? Why are you talking to your sister like that? Why are you talking to your brother like that? Why did you push your brother? Why Ethan, why are you jumping on them? Why are you doing this? Like Ethan, get sit down in the chair. Don't get from underneath the book. Don't get don't go underneath that uh, table. Get out the bushes. Get out the grass. Stop doing that. Stand over here with me. Wait over here. Sit down in this chair. Why can't you y'all? Like when I say I don't have to do that whenever I'm with, you know, at work and, and coworkers. And I'm only with one coworker. I don't really hang out with too many people. But still, like, it. There was one time she didn't come into come into the office. I went out to eat by myself, chilling. Just, just I propped up my phone on like on the glass. I was sitting here eating, minding my business. I had my drink 
watching YouTube. I would, I have my headset on. Like, I mean, just sitting here, just eating, just chill. I didn't even talk. I didn't talk the whole time. I think I talked to the waitress, maybe the one she asked me for my drink, asked me for my food and my appetizer, asked me um, if I needed anything else. I asked her for the check. I bounced out. Like, I. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because y'all, I was so excited. <laughs> y'all be like, I don't want to go back to the office. Take me to the office. Okay. F, F these kids. Shoot. Didn't realize I needed a break until y'all took the break from me. <sighs> okay. Let me go ahead and put my fake phone watching YouTube. My fake YouTube on my fake phone. Let me go ahead and put it up. But y'all, thank y'all so much for joining me. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay beautiful. And we will be back on Tuesday for another Transfer Tuesday. To, and then um, I think that's the last Tuesday of... Let me pull up my let me pull up my side calendar because what is it, May? Um, no, we have two more Tuesdays, y'all. We have the twenty fourth and the thirty first. So let's see how much we can actually do. Let's see if we have a goal. All right. So so far, I've already made my monthly payments, and are we close to making the one thousand three hundred? Because that's the goal. Because I was about to ask, I was about to make a whole nother goal, y'all. All right. So three ninety plus five zero two. Plus 35 plus 40 plus 80 plus 35 plus 360. We got two more Tuesdays. I've already hit $1,442. And I'm going to remove. That's not how I wanted to. Alright, so $141.67 over. Oh. All right, so what what do we say we we're going to knock out? Okay, so the make the minimum payment, which we did, pay off two of the debts. Um, so far, we're waiting for this one to clear. And then we paid two of the 35s for children. So it was 253, 33 minus 35 minus 35. So 183.33 is what I need to pay. So I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna say 184. I need to find out, make sure that they don't have, cause they trip, they tripping for um, 184. I think I could do 184 by next Tuesday. So let's see what I got going on. Um, I'm not gonna make another credit card payment. I might, depending on how much I have have left. But my goal is to make sure that I pay off two debts. And it says children and capital. What is capital? <sighs> okay, so, oh, okay. I mean, pay nothing towards capital. So capital still at five sixty five. No, because I made the minimum payment, right? Yo, I gotta check to see if I made the minimum payment on capital. I'll, I'll let y'all know next Tuesday because when I'm looking at this. Some of these were actually not due until the 20th, and that's on Friday, so I'll see, because I get paid again on Thursday, and we'll, I'll see what's on that 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 payment, because y'all, clearly your girl ain't doing what the hell she said she was going to do, okay? But I got the TG paid, I got, and then that all I need is 184 for this one, and that would actually be two debts in the month of May. Um, I already met the amount that I said I was going to pay, so actually, if I go by this goal, 1500 that is not the same. We're close to it, but we will make it because I plan on getting the 184 and then I'm going to start hitting that capital one. But I'm going to make sure I get all the rest of these uh, minimum, minimum payments out first because <laughs> I think I have a deposit that comes in on, on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday is my, uh, my 9 to 5, so it's my bi-weekly check, so I, I'll be able to do it. So, yeah. It's not as easy. I'm telling y'all right now to stay focused and not be. And then right now, it's like the kids are about to be out of school in two weeks. So we're going to go school shopping and they're going to be needy. Um, y'all, I'm going to be in that office more than y'all know. Because uh, y'all going to be like, Cassandra, how you doing now? Fine. Um, overtime. Okay. Um, overtime, we're going to be at Starbucks or at Barnes & Noble sitting in there until they close at 9 o'clock. But I, 
I ain't got nothing but time, okay? <laughs> but y'all, thank y'all so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Y'all stay blessed. Stay beautiful and stay safe. Bye, guys.